For the 11th race, sophomore pacing fillies are stepping onto the track for the Ohio's first lady pace. At one mile, a purse at $23,500, a field of nine exact to drive back to late pick three wagering. There are no changes. In fact, there are no changes in the late pick three. Here's the one Beacon Hill Misty, known by Ralph and Clarabelle Lovett of Urbana, Ohio, trained and driven by Ron Steck. Next in line, the two, Jackie Zame, owned by the Walls Brothers Stable, Marion, Ohio, trained by James Ferguson, Bob Harper. The three is Pan and Teller, owned by the Peter Pan Stables, Incorporated, of Pepper Pike, Ohio, trained by Ivan Zug, Brett Miller. The four got it going on, owned by Stephen Hubbard and Vatty Deal of Ohio, trained by Stephen Hubbard, Billy Walters. Number five, Tears of Joy, owned by Ronald and Veronica Edwards of the big city in Newark, Ohio, trained and driven by Kenny Kidd. Number six, Not a Day Goes By, owned in partnership by Lehman, Manning, and Miller. They're all the black guys state, trained by Jim Artledge Jr., Ace Nysonger. Number seven, Clover All Over, owned by Shirley Otto of Jefferson, Ohio, trained by Marty Willem, Chip Noble Drive, Scott Piney's Miller Lite, Long Shot of the Night. In the eight, Katie's Place, owned by Gilmore, Heitman, Batchy Jr., and Rogers. They're of Ohio and Florida, trained by Ricky Heitman, Jeff Fount. It with the outside of the nine, Sand Sapphire, owned by Bill Sanders of Stevenson, Alabama, trained by the Sandman, Ty Loy, the Grizz, Greg Grismore, Ian Hersolke. That's the field for the 11th race, the third division of Ohio's First Lady Pace, for three-year-old pacing field. from the rail out. Beacon Hill, Misty, Jackie Zane, Pan and Teller, got it going on, tears of joy, not a day goes by. Clover all over, Katie's place in Sand Sapphire. Field of nine, moving up, moving in. The gate swings into the back stretch, and there they go. Field in motion. They're all fan pacing and firing out of there from the inside. There goes Pan and Teller and a host of others. Got it going on, driving up three wide into the fray there. Clover all over, four deep into the first turn. Sand Sapphire off stride went the seven. Clover all over, who got a bit rough gated there as they step around the first turn and over to the opening quarter. The drums are beating up up top already and Pan and Teller on top here, leading it up on the outside here. Sand Sapphire on the inside, got it going on his third of the opening quarter, spirited 20. 7 and 1 Pev driving on by the stand for the first time and heading on down to the half. Sand Sapphire had to work for it, but she's clear and loose on the frontier, leading it by length and a quarter. Into the inside, Pan and Teller is right there, stalking into. Got it going on as next and third. Fourth, there is Tears of Joy. Fifth and flushed out there. That is Jackie Zame. Third over on the outside. The racing in six, Beacon Hill Misty. Seventh and a ground saving journey along the inside there. Clover all over. A tip to the outside and fourth over. Not a day goes by. And ninth and trailing Katie place. They're halfway home, 57 seconds flat. Off the turn and driving down the backside. Heads are pointed towards three quarters in the Ohio First Lady Pace. On top, Sand Sapphire from the inside. Tears of Joy sticks a neck in front is trying to go right on by the leader here as they step towards three quarters. Tears of Joy battling back. Sand Sapphire second over the outside in third. That's Jackie Zane buried at the pylons in fourth. Pan and Teller fifth on the outside and third over Beacon Hill Misty. Three quarters and 125 five and four fifths. And they'll pace the final turn and head for home. Tears of joy with a lead tear. Into the outside, Jackie's aim and slipping off the pylons, Pan and Teller. Out four wide for the stretch drive. Not a day goes by as they turn to the top of Power Alley. Less than an eighth of a mile to go. And down the stretch they come and forging to the front, Jackie's aim. To move to the inside, Pan and Teller is surging home here. Pan and Teller is going to get up to win the Ohio's first lady pace on the wire. Finishing second of the two, Jackie He's aiming. It was close for a third of the time of the mile. 155 and two fifths. Pan and Teller. Trackside of the winner's circle. The unofficial winner of the 11th race. Third division of the Ohio's First Lady Pays. First at $23,500. Sponsored by the Ohio Expositions Commission. Timed at 155 and two and getting up deep in the super stretch here. The three pan and teller a patient drive by Brett Miller. The fourth win in 2004. Three old black filly by Broadway Jate out of a magical Mike Mayer. Slate of pan over the Peter Pan stables incorporated of Pepper Pike, Ohio. Trained by Ivan Sugg. Nicely handled here this evening by winning driver Brett Miller. That's the grand slam on this evening's card for Brett. Four winning drives. The three pan and teller takes the Ohio's first lady pace in 155 and two fifths. In the winner's circle to make the trophy presentation on behalf of the Ohio Expositions Commission. 
In the Ohio State Fair, the Vice President of Sound and Downs, Mrs. Laverne Hill. The three, Penn and Teller, returns $3, 260 260 Second of the two, Jackie Zame, $484. Third of the one, Beacon Hill, Missy. Misty, 920. 